The Pixel 6 Pro houses the largest battery cell and fastest charging wattage in Google smartphone history. But how does it stack up against the iPhone 13 Pro Max and Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra in this charging speed test? The Google Pixel 6 Pro packs in a massive 5,003 mAh battery and since the official Google 30 watt USB-C power adapter has been impossible to get here in China, I have managed to get my hands on the Anka Nano 2 30 watt adapter which perfectly meets the required USB PD, PPS and 30 watt specs to fast charge the Pixel 6 Pro just as well as it would with the official charger from Google. Android Authority recently tested the Anker block against the Google One and got identical results. However, Android Authority have found in their testings that the Pixel 6 Pro actually caps out at 22 watts regardless of the charger that you use instead of the advertised 30 watts which yielded worse results than expected and this is the exact reason I'm excited to test this out. The iPhone 13 Pro Max has a significantly smaller battery than the Pixel at just 4,350 milliamps and supports 27 watt charging if you use the 30 watt USB-C power adapter from Apple. The Galaxy S21 Ultra has an identical sized battery when compared to the Pixel at an even 5000 milliamps and can charge up to 25 watts of speed thanks to PD and PPS technology found inside the official Samsung Superfast charger. I'm extremely excited to get things going. This is Technic and without further ado, let's go! Before we pop all phones on charge, it's worth checking the temperature at this current point in time. All phones are currently unplugged and they have been sitting idle and flat for the last few hours. Popping them all on charge and hitting the time phone on the right hand side, you can see the time interval at the top right hand corner which is in relation to the percentage above each device. I have made sure to disable all forms of adaptive and optimized charging on the iPhone and Pixel and made sure that fast charging and super fast charging is enabled on the Samsung. After the first five minutes we have 8% on the Pixel, 10% on the iPhone and 10% on the Samsung with the iPhone and Samsung leading the pack over here with the same 10%. Hotter so far the Samsung Cooler so far is the Google Pixel after 10 minutes, 16% on the Pixel 6 Pro, 19% on the iPhone 13 Pro Max and 21% on the S21 Ultra. After that interval, we have the hottest store as the Samsung and the coolest store as the Pixel with the iPhone right in the middle. We have 24% on the Pixel after 15 minutes, 29% on the iPhone and 30% on the S21 Ultra, which is now pulling ahead of the iPhone 13 Pro Max by a little tad. Moving on to the 20 mark time interval, we have 32% on the Pixel, slowly catching up here, 38% on the iPhone, 40% on the Samsung now with a 2% lead over the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Hottest now is the iPhone, which is hottest interval and peak and the coolest is still the Google. Pixel 6 Pro. After 25 minutes, we have 40% on the Pixel 6 Pro, 46% on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, now just a 6% difference between the two, 50% on the S21 Ultra, a 4% difference between it and the iPhone. And moving on to the 30 mark interval, we have 47% on the Pixel 6 Pro, 54% on the iPhone, and 59% on the S21 Ultra, now with a 5% lead over the iPhone. Hotter still the iPhone, cooler still the Pixel, no surprise over here. Moving on to that 45 minute time interval, skipping through 50 minutes over there we have 67% on the Google Pixel, 74% on the iPhone 13 Pro Max and 84% on the S21 Ultra which is now 10% of the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the iPhone is just 7% ahead of the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Moving on to that one hour mark interval over here, we have 82% on the Pixel 6 Pro, now closing the gap between it and the iPhone with 86%, 96% on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra with the lowest charging wattage and pretty much the biggest battery neck and neck with that of the Pixel. In terms of battery capacity, ends off one hour and six minutes, zero to 100%, which is absolutely fantastic and was coolest in the last interval over there and is super darn cool closing off its results over here with a mere 33.7 degrees in Celsius, one hour and six minutes with 75.76 milliamp hours per minute and 25 minutes to get to 50%, which is impressive to say the least. After one hour and 15 minutes on the Pixel and iPhone, the Pixel sitting at 92%, which is now just 3% behind that of the iPhone. Coolest interval this time was the iPhone and hottest interval was the Pixel, but not much of a difference over there. Hottest peak still the iPhone and the iPhone sitting at 99% over there and reaching one hour and 29 minutes, it hits 100%. The iPhone beat the Pixel, but you got to remember it does have a significantly smaller battery when compared to the Google Pixel 6 Pro's 5,003 milliamp hour cell. 97% on the Pixel 6 Pro after one hour and 30 minutes. How long is it going to take? Android Authority tested out an hour and 51 minutes for the Pixel 6 Pro to charge at an average of 13 watts and max of 22 watts. We are about to hit 100% and we do at one hour and 41 minutes, 10 minutes quicker than what other resources have tested it at, which is not too bad. An hour and 41 minutes is still pretty slow, but I mean, you've got to consider it is a massive 
battery and it is the fastest charging and largest battery cell we've seen in a Pixel device to date, so I'm still pretty impressed. Third place over here, of course, the Google Pixel 6 Pro with an hour and 41 minutes, which is not half bad considering it has a massive 5,003 milliamp hour battery and a 30 watt charging, though apparently it only caps at 22 watts. Second place, the iPhone 13 Pro Max with a significantly smaller battery than the Pixel at 4,352 milliamps, an hour and 29 minutes, thanks to 27 watt charging. And moving on to the first place king over here, the S21 Ultra, an hour and six minutes, 25 watt charging, and a similar size battery to the Pixel at 5,000 milliamps, which is definitely very impressive. Now, taking a look at the milliamp hour per minute reading from zero to 100% at the center of the screen, the Samsung got 75.76 milliamps, whereas the iPhone got 48.91, which is actually the worst since the Pixel got 49.54 milliamp hours per minute because it has a larger battery than the iPhone and only finished 12 minutes after the iPhone did. Now, if we take a look at the bottom of the screen, the Pixel 6 Pro charged the slowest compared to the other two devices to get to its first 50%, doing it in 32 minutes, getting a milliamp hour per minute reading of just over 78, whereas the iPhone did it in 27 minutes, got a milliamp hour per minute reading of almost 81 milliamps, and the Samsung did it in just 25 minutes with 100 milliamp hour per minute even. Getting to the first 80% was very similar over here with the Pixel 6 having the worst time, getting it from zero to 80% in 58 minutes, as opposed to the iPhone's 50 minutes and Samsung's 42 minutes, but it changes up a bit with the last 20% where the Pixel did 43 minutes in the last 20, which is just absolutely insane. The reason I tested this out is because most phones with optimized or adaptive charging enabled or disabled tend to slow down in the last 20% just so that they can cool the phone down so that the battery doesn't get too hot over time so that the battery can last longer and have a longer lifespan. The Pixel 6 Pro, however, in the last 20% did get the worst time, but it got a better milliamp hour per minute reading when compared to the iPhone because once again, it has a bigger battery with the Samsung doing the quickest last 20% over here in 24 minutes and getting a milliamp hour per minute reading of that last 20% of 41.67, which smashed the other two out the water. But if we do take a look at temps, the Google Pixel 6 Pro was the coolest throughout the test most of the time. It ended off almost as cool as the iPhone, pretty much neck and neck there, but throughout the test, the interval temps were cooler on the Pixel, a lot cooler on the Pixel when compared to the iPhone and Samsung, and it had the lowest peak to prove that with 42.7 degrees in Celsius, whereas the iPhone had the highest peak at 48.4, and not far behind that, the S21 Ultra with 48.1. So I guess you could say that Google is more concerned with how long your phone's battery lasts over time than how fast it could charge. Not a bad take on that, and I'm super excited to test out battery drain. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell. This is Tech Neck, and I'll catch you in the next one.